According to the World Health Organization, of the estimated 130 million infants born each year worldwide, 14 million die in the first 28 days of life. In Ghana, the 2008 Demographic Health Survey shows the country's neonatal mortality rate stands at 30 deaths per 100,000 live births. The news team has been finding out more on neonatal mortality. The first 28 days of life, the neonatal period, represents the most vulnerable time for a child's survival. In 2012, roughly 44% of under five deaths, according to the World Health Organization, occurred during this period. The vast majority of newborn deaths take place in developing countries where access to health care is low. Most of newborns die at home without skilled care that could greatly increase the chances of survival. Majority of all neonatal deaths, that 75%, occur during the first week of life and between 25% to 45% occur within the first 24 hours. So what causes neonatal deaths? Commonest causes here we have recorded are number one, prematurity. Then the other causes birth asphyxia and by that I mean a baby who's been starved of oxygen I mean at around the time of birth then the third will be sepsis by that we mean um, babies getting infections so they are very vulnerable their immunity is not developed so very easy to um, get an infection and die from that Prematurity, according to the World Health Organization, is the leading cause of newborn deaths and now the second leading cause of death in children under five years. At the neonatal and intensive care unit of the Kodobu Teaching Hospital, a number of mothers who gave birth prematurely, some at six months, shared their experience. <clears throat> it wasn't easy. We just imagine this is my first baby and you go home without your baby, people will go home with their babies with me, no baby. For this pretend babies, my eye for one, I think it was stress. So here's the kids, our stressful business that we do day in and day out, and we should be able to manage them. Up to two thirds of newborn deaths could be prevented if skilled health workers perform effective health measures at birth and during the first week of life. So last month we had like 240 admissions to a neonatal intensive care unit in one month. And then you have probably about 20 to 30 um, dying. When you look at the whole country, you know, the Ghana Democratic Health Survey, in 2003, for instance, there were about 40 or over 40 deaths per thousand live births. That came down in around 2008 to about 30 per thousand live births, which means that out of every thousand children born in Ghana, 30 would die within the first month. So this gives you an idea of number of babies who die per thousand live births. Now we've not been able to bring that figure down drastically, and this is 2013. We are going to 2015, which is the Millennium Development Goal deadline. deadline. And so as a country, we need to work very hard to bring this um, rates, all our rates down to acceptable levels. But the way things stand, Ghana is truly struggling to achieve the UN Millennium Development Goal 4 of reducing childhood mortality by two thirds by 2015 and will require a lot more attention and resources in this direction.